there are two things that MMA fans crave beyond everything else. The first is the picture-perfect knockout, and the other is that blood, sweat, and tears battle to the bitter end. Valor Fights is a promotion that has provided both and so much more. This event first aired on Flow Combat April 29th of this year, featuring Valor Fights 32 live from the Knoxville Coliseum. The undercard started off with an exciting assortment of TKOs and submissions, but no one was prepared for what came next. As the main card delivered three consecutive picture-perfect knockouts from rising stars Frank Tate, Cody Gully, and Damir Fahabagavich. Not to be outdone, the flashy, slick Nick Gertz closed out the show with an uber-technical heel hook submission in the main event. Two weeks later, it was back on the road for Fowler Fights 33 at Camp Jordan Arena in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Following another tremendous undercard featuring picture-perfect finishes from Black Zillion standout Denzel Freeman and Bantamweight knockout artist Ronnie The Heat Lawrence. The main event closed out the night with quite possibly the greatest bout in Valor Fights history. It was acclaimed veteran Kendrick Myrie facing the 5-0 undefeated middleweight champ, the All-American kid, Sid Wheeler. To say this matchup was epic is an understatement as both men battled to complete exhaustion and in the end, it was the battered and bloody Sid Wheeler retaining his title with an epic rear naked choke submission in the closing moments of round five. This is a fight that will not soon be forgotten and sees Wheeler elevated as one of the hottest rising stars in mixed martial arts today. It was announced that the All-American Kid will return August 13th to defend his title at Valor Fights 36, which takes place at the Gallenberg Convention Center in the Great Smoky Mountains. His opponent will be former UFC and Bellator star Joe Diesel Riggs, who sports one of the most extensive of records in the sport, stepping into the cage for his 60th professional MMA fight. Will it be the momentum of the young line champion or the experienced tactician that prevails? 